Women have to be protected and respected. Part 6 of 8 on Between Master and Disciples given in English on August 24, 2021. the Americans fought, or it's not that, that they love war, no. They also don't want to spend like billions, billions in a strange country and then risking their sons and daughters' lives. Yeah, of course not. Yeah, it's, it's not fun. They just did it because of their idealism, because of their protective nature. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. And because the, the world looked up to them as the police. Yeah. Police of the world. So they just did their job. Exactly. That's it. But the Taliban was the cause, was the excuse for them to do that. Mm. Otherwise, you don't see them going to another Muslim country, no. even in Iran. Yes. Even though Iran and America did not get on well and did not talk well at the moment because of the so-called atomic development problem. Or oh, North Korea, uh, even the atomic bomb and all that, this is even more urgent and more, more serious. Well, they didn't go there to make war. Yeah, it's true. Because the Iranian government still treats their citizens, I mean, not borderline, brutality. I understand. Still lets them have some freedom, yeah? Yeah. The Iranian girls, I saw them also wear some normal Western clothes, some of them, yeah, or jeans. Mm -hmm. And they also go to college, universities and all that. Yes. There's some form of freedom, some portion. Right. The Iranian government did not forbid the girls to go to school, did not force people to wear burqa. Yeah. All right. So even then, uh, America and Iran are not on good terms since a long time, mm -hmm. because uh, uh, Americans and the world worry that Iran makes nuclear bombs. I see. So they have to check on them, but then they did not go there to make war with them just because they are Muslim. Yes, Muslim. Many other Muslim countries now make peace with each other and even with Israel. Yes. So America was just negotiating peace, peacefully, gently. Yes. But the Taliban was too, too much, too brutal, mm. that the international community cannot just ignore the pain and the suffering of the woman there. Mm. That's why. So I don't know if after 20 years they did not change. I don't know what can change them, okay? Right. Let's see what the karma brings. Let's see what God decides. Just I can only say a few words, however unpleasant, just hoping to wake them up, hoping that there will be less violence, there will be more gentle on the women and the so-called ex-enemies. Yes. That's what I'm hoping for. That's why I, I risk myself to talk like that, because maybe sweet words don't work. Mm -hmm. Everybody will kowtow to them and... Nobody dares to say anything. So maybe my talk may wake them up yeah. because it's brutally truthful. I did not mince my words. I hope to wake mm -hmm. them up that way. Sometimes people need to be shocked out of their stupor. Mm -hmm. yes, Hopefully, true. that's all. But anything else, I don't know. I cannot guarantee anything. Yes, Master. What can I do? I'm an <laughs> old woman. <laughs> Mostly, I normally should be just a spiritual teacher. And now I have to do many other things. I'm busy already with my work with Supreme Master Television, with my business. Thank you for speaking up, nevertheless. Yeah, I have to. Yes. I have to. I have to fend for the woman, or whatever I can. At least I cannot just ignore it. I cannot just like keep quiet for my safety or for whatever precaution. Right. I, I don't live for my safety. I live for others. I cannot just ignore the plight of the woman there when it comes to such an extreme like that. Yes. Because I feel the suffering, their suffering, as if it's my own. Like, suppose it's me. Yes. That's why. I cannot bear it, okay? Suppose you are in Afghanistan and you are Afghan and I know you. Yes. How would I just stand by? Right, understand. I don't know them, but I feel like they are me. They're my friends and relatives or whatever. Yes. Because they're just like you. They're a woman. 
They're innocent. They're helpless. Yes, Master. They have no arms. They don't have anything to defend for themselves. And they trot upon them like dirt, like worse than criminals. The women, they were not criminals. They did nothing wrong. Never. No, they're innocent. So they cannot be treated that way. It's beyond inhumane, beyond evil. I don't regret saying anything I have said. Yes, Master. So, as I say, you know, President Trump signed the peace deal because he, he really wants his peace. He doesn't want any more bystanders, innocent deaths for the Afghans as well as for the Americans. Yeah. Yes. But that doesn't mean uh, he is scared of them. Okay? Yeah. He was just a nice president. Yeah? Or maybe mm. bordering, naive, believing that everyone else also plays straight and fair as he does. Mm. Yes. So he believed in the Taliban's promises. That's why he signed the peace accord. And now, even though Biden looks weak, or the, the governments or the armies of the international community are leaving, and it seems like they're very humble, mm -hmm. but just because they want peace. Right. They want to avoid bloodshed. That's why yes. they humble themselves. But that is not a sign of weakness. Yes. Yeah. Even though they look weak. Maybe Biden is weak or looks weak. But the Americans are not weak. Yeah. They still have their commanders. They still have the generals and the big, whole, powerful, top of the world army. Right. Yeah. So they might even bypass Biden to mm. defend the innocent, helpless Afghans, you know, mm -hmm. like the women and the children. So no one should mess with the Americans. Yes. No one should look down upon the Americans. No one should feel like they have victory over the Americans, even though it might seem so. Right. Though they might seem humble now, for peace's sake, but not forever. Mm. If pushed too long and too hard, they might just, you know, pay back. Right. Yeah. Mm. And this time they will not leave any stone unturned. Mm. Yes. So anyone who feels like they uh, have victory over the Americans, they should <laughs> think twice. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. That's what I want to say, because no one should mess with the Americans. Wow, yes. Yes. Yes, Master. If they ever retreat or sign the peace accord, it's because they don't want any more bloodshed for both sides. Yes. For peace's sake, for humanity's sake, that's all, okay? Right. Not because they're weak. They have all the latest and most modern equipment for war. You see what I'm saying? Yes, Master. So why should they be afraid of anybody? Right. The people who should be afraid are the Taliban. Because the Americans, they're not afraid of anything. That's right. why they went from one country to another, wherever is in need of their powerful protection. Right. Yeah. They don't mind sacrificing their finance. Or they're most useful and beautiful and powerful men and women mm. to protect others, you know. No matter how far yes. that country is, no matter if that country has anything to do with them or can offer them anything, you right. know, and finance or, or fame or gain, nothing. They, they are very unconditional. So, yes. Yes. They're not afraid of anybody. Mm -hmm. If they show humility, that is because they are great. Yeah. Because they know they can crush anyone. It's just they do things with caution. And uh, with humanity at heart. Yes. So they don't always consider themselves or don't use enough tricks or strategy to win. Mm. Because they consider lives of others. Yes, yeah. yes. That seems to be weakness to, to others, but it's not like that. They are just born and raised in a very straight kind of heroism. Mm. They don't know tricks. They don't... 
do things behind the enemy's back or stuff like that. Right. That's why sometimes the enemy so-called win. Mm -hmm. But because they do things leniently, they didn't really want to go all the way out. So I think if the Taliban is being arrogant because of the so-called victory, they might have to think again. Because if they push too hard, I don't know if the Western community, they're very united. You can see if America goes somewhere and wants to defend one country, then mm. other allies also come with them. Yes, yes. Yeah, they are very united, yeah. despite they are sometimes uh, squabbling a little bit here and there because of different opinions, mm. but they're united yeah. together behind the Americans. But I don't know if the Taliban, if they continue their brutal way, like... 20 years ago, or like the way they are reporting right now, or recently, yes. still carry on this kind of brutal regime mm. policy, then I don't know if the West will ever forgive them again. Mm. If I the see. West ever will shake hands again or trust them ever again right. for any peace talks. And mm -hmm. once they're decided, I think they will go all the way through. Mm -hmm. And no matter what the Taliban have, <laughs> they cannot match against the West. Yeah. There's no match. Yes, it's true. Because they won in World War II, they won in other countries, many countries, right. many times. Yeah. The Americans alone or with their allies, they won all the time. They also won the Third Reich. Hitler, oh, yes. Germany before. Yes. And the Germans, they are powerful. They were very high tech at that time compared to anybody else. Yes. Americans, they went all the way there to Europe to defend justice and to rescue the Jewish people at that time. Yes, Master. They're not afraid of anybody. Win or lose, they might not be sure, but they're very courageous people. They're Americans. They are, I yeah, can yeah. see that. Then yes. all the time, they did not want to win, or they seemed to back off just because maybe pressure. Mm -hmm. Like Vietnam, you know, there were pressure from their own people even, because the Americans, they're too straightforward. They don't know how to do PR. Right. And many countries, you know how. And PR is very important also to decide yeah. yes. if you have enough support or not. Otherwise, the Americans, they are not afraid of anybody. You know that, right? Yeah, it's true. They're okay. really brave. They go all the way to a strange and far country where they don't speak the language, they don't mm -hmm. eat the same food, mm -hmm. and they expose themselves to all the strategic danger of war because they don't do much strategy. Yeah. Incredible how brave they are. But that doesn't mean they're afraid of anybody. <laughs> the Americans better don't think like that about them. Don't push too hard. You will feel sorry. Whoever. All right. And I just hope that the Taliban backs off. Be more moderate. Be, be more humble. Be more righteous with their citizens. Otherwise, if the West feels that citizens are oppressed under the Taliban. I don't think they would just stand by and watch. Yeah, you know, right. it's not their nature. Yes. They, they have these uh, heroes in them. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's their ideal. Yes, Master. Mm. And that ideal will not die. And this time, nobody can guarantee that the Taliban will ever be having their name again mm. anywhere. Yes, Master. One time they forgive or they back off, but... Not all the time. No. They behave humbly because they're great. They know they can crush anyone, anytime. Mm -hmm. So they don't need to show off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they just behave humbly. That doesn't mean that they are afraid or they just give up so, or are yes. losing the war. They yes. don't lose. No. They just consider human sacrifice on both sides. Yeah, that's true. They want peace. After all, peace is all everybody needs. Everybody wants peace. Right. But in order to keep peace, we must live according to logic, reason, and virtue uh, to mm -hmm. protect the citizens. So if somebody continues not to have peace, then the Western people, they will jump in, I think, you know, sooner or later. Yes. Just to protect peace. Yes. Even if they have to go to war to protect peace. Mm -hmm. That's what they do all the time. Yeah, it's true, I agree. <laughs>